ArcServe UDP full system protection to Hyper-V. ArcServe Unified Data Protection provides a comprehensive data protection solution featuring infinite incremental backups, global duplication, and recovery point replication and high availability. This video focuses on the high availability component and features high availability to Microsoft Hyper-V. The demo is in two parts. The first part is an assured recovery integrity DR test to a dedicated test network. The second part of the demo is a live failover of a SQL server. The same technology can be used for DR as can be used for migrations to Hyper-V. Assured recovery integrity testing is a huge selling point of ArcServe UDP. Assured recovery allows you to complete a full DR test without impacting on production. An isolated assured recovery test network is used during the test. The ArcServe UDP assured recovery test is also non-interruptive to the DR solution. Data on the production servers remain protected and it is not necessary to resync the data after the test. Assured recovery tests can be manually invoked or can be scheduled to automatically run. Imagine having an automated weekly DR test. This demo features a SQL server that runs on VMware. The server is protected to a Hyper-V host. This means that the Hyper-V host contains an offline replica equivalent of the VMware virtual machine. The Hyper-V virtual machine is kept continuously up to date using real-time byte level replication. We can see in the UDP console, the scenario is running. And from the actions menu, when I've selected a scenario, I can choose replica integrity testing. I'm then prompted on whether I want to complete manual testing or, or automatic testing. Manual testing will allow, will keep the virtual machine online for me to do some testing, to query the database, etc. Whereas if I do not select manual testing, we will bring up the replica VM and it will be immediately removed once it's deemed to be successful. Once the uh, assured recovery test is started, we can see the events occurring as the Hyper-V virtual machine is provisioned. If we change to the Hyper-V host, we can see the virtual machine has already been started up and is, uh, is, is going through its initial boot process. Now we should be able to uh, connect to this Hyper-V VM. Now I could log on to this virtual machine, but really I just want to show uh, the settings and the fact that this virtual machine has been started and it's been connected to the assured recovery testing network that had been defined earlier. That's an isolated network from production. So again, we're not affecting the, uh, the production environment or the uh, protection in scenario in any way. The other great thing about the assured recovery testing is that I can undo the, the, the test um, without causing a resync of the data. So I again choose my um, replica integrity testing and it will undo the whole process um, without needing to resync the data from the source server. It just takes a few seconds. In fact, we can see that we're now in a protected state again, ready to do a, a full DR test. As I mentioned earlier, in this demo, I'm using a VMware virtual machine running SQL Server. It could be a physical server. It could be um, a server running on any infrastructure whatsoever. Makes no difference. So I've opened up the VMware console and I can see my SQL Server. You can see I've actually opened up SQL Server Enterprise Manager. Um, and I'm going to just create a, a couple of changes because obviously I want to demonstrate the real-time nature of the protection and the fact that we won't lose any data during failover to DR. I've got a very simple database uh, with some names and ages. I'm just going to randomly change the ages um, associated with the names and commit those changes to the database. To simulate the failure of the server, I'm going to open up the properties of the network adapter and disable that. So 
this SQL Server is now offline. But for good measure, I'm going to use the VMware console to shut down the virtual machine on VMware also. Returning to my UDP console, I can see that I have a little red icon next to the, uh, the scenario, indicating that the source server is actually offline. Now I didn't uh, configure automatic switch over, so I'm going to use the action menu and select perform a switch over. And I can choose whether to wait for queues to empty or not. Just like the assured recovery test we did it earlier, a whole series of events occur as the Hyper-V virtual machine is provisioned and brought online. It typically takes less than a minute. Returning to my Hyper-V console, I can connect to the Hyper-V virtual machine. This time it's it's called SQL standalone one underscore HV without the AR for assured recovery because this is a live failover. I am going to log into the server this time because I want to verify my SQL data is is intact and was protected. So I'm going to launch SQL Server Management Studio and I'm going to log into the local server again SQL standalone one exactly the same as it was in VMware and I'm going to first of all just quick look at the settings on Hyper-V difference here from my assured recovery test is that I'm now connected to the production Hyper-V network and again I can check my IP is valid same IP address as I had in, in, uh, in the VMware environment I'm going to now go into my database table and I'm going to edit the top 200 rows and verify that the ages for the names associated with the names is the same as I edited earlier in the demo. Just to recap on this demo, this demo was just a brief look at one component of ArcServe UDP, the high availability component. It was also just a look at one of many high availability scenarios that are available Arcs of UDP contains many other features such as point in time, infinite incremental backups, global deduplication and recovery point replication, backup to tape or cloud and also disaster recovery to the cloud.